guys had the game-winning double uh, in the ninth inning, two extra innings for the Urban Knights. Uh, tell us what was going through your head when you were at the plate. Uh, just trying to get a pitch elevated that I could drive, uh, try to hit a gap uh, in order to score the run. I uh, was looking for fastball, and uh, they, got, they gave me one. And uh, did your game plan change at all when the block got Brackenridge the second? Uh, a little bit. I was going to try to let the dude wasn't, didn't have a lot of velocity. I was trying to let the ball travel. And, uh, like I said, get something elevated, and that was, that's all that was going through my head. I heard you said something to Steph uh, before. Can you tell me a little about what you said? Uh, I did. Uh, first, I want to say something. Uh, our pitchers dealt, and uh, it was. It felt like we needed to give them a little payback for doing such a good job. Dean, Brian, Donahue, and uh, Yoshi came in and did their job, and I felt like it was kind of like a motivation to get a job done. But uh, me and Steph were sitting on the bucket before uh, I got to the plate. And he's putting his batting gloves on, and I told him, hey, man, don't even put those on because I'm going to end this game. Go start the car. We'll be done. We'll be out of here in about two minutes. And uh, ended up getting a pitch and uh, drove in and got the win. All right. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Thanks, bro. All right, we're here with Urban Knights second baseman Kalani Brackenridge after he scored the winning run in the Urban Knights walk-off 6-5 win over Cal State Stanislaus. Uh, tell us a little bit about your at-bat leading off Herb when you got on base, the single you hit. Well, first, uh, my first goal was just to get on base to give our chance, an uh, uh, opportunity to score. And once I got on base, I was just hopefully my teammates would pick me up and bring me in, which we did. And uh, the ball got you over to second. How much did that change your thinking on base pass? I actually changed it a lot because I was actually thinking about stealing, and basically he just gave me a free base to second, so I'll take it. And uh, as soon as that ball got hit in the air, uh, it looked to be pretty deep. Uh, what, what were your thoughts? What was going through your head? First, I thought I was getting out, and then... Um, I was thinking I just got to make it home before when the ball lands, I just got to get home to, to win this game. <laughs> and uh, you've actually been on a tear the second half of the season. Uh, talk a little bit about if anything's changed your approach or uh, what do you think has been the difference? Well, I've just been setting goals for myself and every night just been studying pitchers and basically just working on what I've been working on and trying to get better and it's been working for me, so I'll ride with it. <laughs> All right, man, congratulations. Thanks again. All right, we're here with uh, Urban Knights pitcher Ryan Donahoe. Um, pitched four scoreless innings today. Uh, talk a little bit about coming out of the bullpen and um, what it meant to keep putting up zeros for, for this team. Well, uh, I live for this. I live for that job. I mean, that's my role on this team, to close, close out ball games. And uh, I know I have to get the job done. You know, this is my senior year, and, um, you know, I really want to do a good job out here, and I want to I wanna get some wins for this team. So relieved. It just like felt so good. You know, for for the team, for everyone to, to contribute to that win. You know, um, we 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 work so hard in practice, and and uh, we all we we love all of each other so much, and we just we, we want to be we, we want to win together. You know, and uh, for that to happen was was great, and you know, hopefully it's, it it really it's it, it lights a fire for us to go to keep going out and keep battling. We're, we're a great team. And um, everyone needs needs to, needs to look at themselves in the mirror and be like, we we are the Academy of Art baseball team. You know, we we are a good ball club. We have some good talent. We have some great talent on this team. And if we put it all together like we did today, we're gonna win a lot of ball games. Cool. Thanks, man. Congratulations on the win today. Yoshi Yurimura uh, got the win today after inning two thirds, I think. Uh, talk a little bit about um, how you felt out there on the mound today. Uh, a little bit nervous, but excited. I too a uh, bad outing, so I wanted to make make sure I did a good outing this time. Uh, then you came out, uh, got some big outs with the runners on base. So tell us a little about what your mentality was out there. Uh, well, I've been in this situation before. I same plays, uh, runner on third, squeeze play. So I was kind of used to it. I was a little bit nervous, but you know I got the job done. Uh, and then that ball that Ramirez let go foul. Uh, how much were you? kind of willing that ball to go foul. <laughs> I was praying for it to go foul. I didn't look it was going foul at first, and I heard everyone saying let it go foul, so I just a little bit got on our side right there. And then uh, last inning, uh, that the ball out to left field. Tell us what was going through your head when that happened. That home run all the way. I was so juiced. I couldn't wait to go hug him. <laughs> first one of the year right there. And uh, all right, thanks, man. Great job out there today. Thanks. We'll see you uh, next week. Thank you.